This is Jay. In addition to being an avid runner, Jay is a stylist and producer in New York City. Jay just started a job with the worldwide conglomerate CCMJ. CCMJ owns various design houses, beverages, and fancy snacks. In addition to Jay's new job, Jay's best friend Bettina has decided to take a break from the city and is back in Tampa with her family. Absolutely. Passion is what drives me. My motivation to produce good work comes not only from having a good eye, as they say, but really wanting to squeeze from every opportunity given to me. This is Bettina. This morning, the girls are going through a mock interview for Bettina's potential new job as a flight attendant. Every day you have a chance to make a first impression. Like today, for example. You're super business, B. First Lady Michelle Obama. Media magnet. Oprah Winfrey, activist Yuri Kuchiyama, Beyonce Knowles, Rihanna of pop music stardom and Fenty. Uh, we get the picture. Supreme Court Justice Sonia Sotomayor, actress and activist Dame Judi Dench. We get the picture. Presidential candidate Shirley Chisholm, newscaster Connie Chung. This airline has no idea what they're getting themselves into. Okay, okay. Next question. Also, shout out to the former first lady. Why an airline? What about this field appeals to you? Um, it's time for a change in all honesty. I'm extremely grateful for the job that I have now. Security, pay, benefits aren't easy to come by. Interest and motivation are. And I don't have that at the present, but you guys offer that. That's good. You'll be in the sky in no time. So what's it like being back on the East Coast? How's CCNJ? Yeah, it's good to be back, but gotta deal with the winter. CCNJ is great. Much bigger gig than last time. Um, pay and benefits really make it worthwhile. Been working on some cool stuff. They're a huge company though. Did you see that discount list? I did, but I still can't afford most of it. I'll have to visit Rent the J the next time I visit. I loved your last bubble with Bettina. I was dying. Dude, it's getting way more traction than I thought. Way more likes for this episode than the last one. How many views did you get? Um, not exactly sure. To this. Zero. So thank you for watching, guys. A decent amount, though. Oh my god, Misa called today. No way. Dude, how is she? She's good. Working on a new job. Really swamp, though. What's she doing? I don't know. She said she was, like, working out somewhere in Nassau or something. Jay had actually misheard Misa on the call. Misa was, in fact, working for NASA. Later that evening, Jay and the gang finally got a chance to get together for their sleepover. Unfortunately, Jay's social time was cut a bit short, as she had to take a call from her new boss, Nieti, whose recent decision to hire an assistant was proving to be a trying concept. The Order of the SC Society is now in session. I'm sorry, what does SC stand for? Sleepover Chicken! <sighs> well, now let Samia review the minutes from the last session. Uh, I wasn't taking notes, remember? This is Jay's boss, Nieti. Nieti had ascended the ranks at CCMJ by quite literally being so good at her job, she once had to fire and rehire herself in order to stay motivated. Hang on. Usha is Nieti's assistant. Interesting fact about Usha here. I have Jay on line two. Why not line one? Why not line two? Because line one is... Wait, who's on line one? No one. I just feel like the other lines are neglected. What? Ugh, never mind. So, boss, I wanted to ask you. Hello, if you're young not one. Doing anything? Hey, Nyati, how are you? Have dinner. I'm good. How's the shoot coming along? I have Kate Spade, Prada, and Louis Vuitton all following up with their placements, and I want to confirm that you're good on their plugs. Also, I'm looking at the budget. It seems like there's a little bit in flux. Is there anything you want to tell me? I feel like the budget will match the final. What did I tell you about feelings, Jay? Hello? Feelings are for small children and women who wear kitten heels. Right. Now what's the amended answer? The final budget will match the numbers before the shoot. 
Super. Now, what do we have scheduled for the rest of the week? Calm down. Ooh. Oh my God. Hey. Bobe had invited Maliha, editor in chief of Zip Magazine, and Mish Havisham enthusiast. Come, come, come. Okay. Guys, this is Malia. Hey. Hey. Um. So I brought um fresh squeezed OJ, and uh Pepsi and water and sparkling water. Um, but it's lemon. Ew. Oh. It's disgusting. You ain't come right. on. Um. Okay. So that was a mistake. Thanks for the drinks. Is there any ice? <laughs> yes, there is. <laughs> Feels so good to be surrounded by youth. We can fix your look if you want. I'm sorry, I didn't mean that. I just mean you wouldn't look so old if you just changed her. So, in essence, that's what we need for the shoot. We good? Yeah, boss, I got it. Thank you. Have a good night. Oh, wait. We're not done yet. Sorry. Okay, guys. Now it's time to play Never Have I Ever. Bobe, you go first. Okay. Um, never Have I Ever kissed a girl. I kissed two girls at the same time. Also had two at one time. Two dicks. Pixar didn't happen. Oh, um, my turn. Um, never have I ever hooked up with someone on an airplane. The only one? I guess I'm cut of a different cloth. Don't people like you use mothballs or something like that? Honey, don't talk to me about balls. Vincent's exaggerated reaction was the result of having kept a lifelong secret. While most men had two balls, Vincent had three. Two in the expected area and one, well, it's not important. Okay, now we're done. Good night. Good night. Okay, guys. Never have I ever killed somebody. No way you guys could have killed someone. You'd ruin your outfits. You guys are a riot. It wasn't on purpose. It was dark and they were wearing black and crossing the street. <laughs> Eyewitness accounts led to the sketch artist producing these. Although they resulted in over 800 calls to the University of California Police Network, the suspects were never apprehended. <laughs> 